Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, you are going to see how to purchase games in Steam library or Steam app. Steam is best for its collection of games and even I purchased two games in this Steam app. I'm going to share what are the things you need to take care and how to purchase any games. Actually, I purchased these games on June month uh, where the summer sale is going on on that time. Actually, I'm going to purchase these two games, Player Unknown Battlegrounds and Euro Truck Simulator 2. And here you can see two options, purchase as gift and purchase for myself. Click on purchase on myself if you are purchasing for your own or if you are sending this game to anybody like your friends or family members or gifting to anybody like any some occasions click on purchase as gift so that it will create a code steam code so that they can claim by clicking on the add game on the bottom left corner so now i'm purchasing for myself so i'm selecting for purchase for myself actually coming to the pricing this one both are priced at 740 rupees and let's start the purchase i'm clicking on purchase for myself and after clicking that you can see payment methods it will ask different payment methods like visa mastercard skrill cash on delivery credit card debit card net banking prepaid wallet like that if you click on the cash on delivery a courier will arrive for you and on that time you need to pay the money and in the courier you will see steam codes where it's like same as the gift card you need to again click on add a game and uh, enter the code you are getting inside the courier it's basically like a letter i'm selecting the debit card domestic actually i'm from india so i'm selecting this one the next is billing information you need to enter your name city and billing address and country zip code state etc after that you need to click on save my payment information so checkout is easy next time after that click on continue and this option is uh, it's up to you guys if you want to save your code in this team account you can save or else it's not a big deal guys one thing happened actually i entered wrong otp so that the transaction cannot be completed previously and if i'm trying again it will showing like your transaction cannot be completed because you have another pending transaction for one or more items in your card it will take some time to refresh that one even you can use the paytm wallet also for to purchase this game i will show how it works click on the payment method and choose the prepaid wallet domestic you can check and same billing information you need to enter like name city state zip code country click on next and here it will show the overall pricing and also the steam points you will get for this purchase actually you can use steam points for another purpose also like sharing or sending these coins to uh, points to anybody like that it's it's not about that one you can use it anywhere and then you have to agree these terms and then click to continue to nova play where it actually opens the payment page here it is again it has the billing information you need to enter your name enter your email address pin code and city state and etc things and on the top right you can see order number email id and what are the amount you are paying and also the payment method i'm using the wallet right like that and also even you need to enter mobile number after entering all the details click on the continue button now it will ask the wallet which wallet you are having actually i told you paytm not only paytm even you can recharge i mean you can pay with free charge icsa pockets itj cash card i don't know what is that mean i never heard that word and geo money mobiquick ola money paytm these are different payment methods are available in wallet section i am selecting the paytm and clicking on the submit and also they given the timer also to complete the transaction within minutes and you need to complete the transaction within the time period i am clicking on the submit option and now it will open another page where the payment actually happened it will ask your phone number or else even you can scan the code in your paytm mobile app and pay directly i'm entering my mobile number and i'm clicking on proceed option after entering your mobile number a otp will be come to your mobile and uh, you need to enter the otp and click on the verify button to verify the otp and the payment will automatically starts and now it is asking to pay the money and it will show paytm balance and uh, click on the pay money if you don't have balance in your paytm wallet you need to load balance first and then you need to 
try this option if in case if your paytm balance is like 500 or 400 below whatever the pricing you are purchasing it will won't accept it click on pay 740 rupees and it will process don't click on any screens it will automatically redirect it after successful purchase you will receive a mail to your email id and uh, even you can download the payment information also after successful payment it will automatically update like this your purchase received and even if you want you can print that receipt also i am saying this one for my safety use in case if the game is not added to my library i will show them like as a proof yeah that's all about the purchase and for to access your games go to home page and uh, click on collections for to access the games which you purchased go to library and here you can see many games which i already previously and now you can observe it is showing install option and you have successfully purchased it if it is not purchased it will show like some pricing and uh, if it is a free to play game it will show like uh, install and after that it will show the pricing also so yeah this is how you can purchase the games in steam library i hope this video will helpful for you who are going to purchase games in steam library i purchased these games and i'm going to install the beauty of this steam library is it actually synchronize the data and uh, even you can use it in any laptop or any pc like that and even some game supports in mac also actually the data will be stored securely so you don't need to worry like if you uninstall the game accidentally and if you are trying to reinstall the game you don't worry like i need to play from starting actually it saves all the data and it will resume the game whatever you play the last and synchronize it yeah that's all about the video guys i hope this video will helpful for you and also i leave the amazon and flipkart links in the description box if you are purchasing anything from amazon or flipkart feel free to check those links it will really help to the channel upgrade also and it really boosts the channel up too and as usual my name is Roshekar and you're watching Tech Bunny and also don't forget to subscribe channel for more and more videos and share this video if possible to your friends and family members see you guys thanks guys thanks for watching take care